sort of putting patches here and there on the edges of things. I'm only using a tiny bit at the moment if I decide I want to add more later that's okay but I don't want to add too much to start with. <coughs> that pigeon it's actually I figured out it's not a pigeon as such it's a turtle dove they sort of coo a bit and they sound a bit like an owl <laughs> or, or cuckoo they sound like they're saying cuckoo nice on the black and a little bit darker. That mirror's got a bit of stuff spilt on it but I hopefully it can wipe that off later on. Um, I'm going to leave some space to put some bronze as well. <coughs> I highlight these little bumps. Keep missing them. Oops. It takes a lot of patience to do little fiddly things like this. Luckily for me, I don't mind. I'll do it all the way around though. Maybe I'll do a few patches here and there. Did I tell you that I, when I started this, I had a thought that I should have actually done it vintage style? <laughs> I almost had that sort of regret of. Oh, I would have been more comfortable trying that than this, but um, it's definitely too late for that now. Right, that's one part. It's not really standing out all that much, because I've only put it on lightly. Or maybe the light shining on it might show it up better. It's pretty dull to me down here. <clears throat> Alright, just going to pause for a minute. Alright, just had an accident with my tea. Spilt it everywhere, just have to clean all that up. So now, back to this.
honestly can't think of anything else to talk about. There's really nothing happening. Our son has the night off work tonight. And he went shopping today after working all last night, so he's um, going late to sleep today. But he'll probably sleep until about 10 o'clock tonight and then he'll get up and probably go out into the city, catch up with some friends and hang out with them for a while until they get too tired and have to go home to bed and then he's got to kill the rest of the night on his own because he's used to being up all night. <coughs> Um, last weekend he said that he ended up going to the casino because that's open all night and um, he ended up doing all right. He, I think he said he played blackjack and he started out with ten dollars and ended up with three hundred so that was a bit of a fun night for him. At least he came out in front <coughs> instead of losing money. So the only other option he's got when he um, is still awake in the wee hours of the morning is to go to the movie theatre there within the casino complex because they stay open all night as well. Um, other than that, he'd just go home and spend time in his room quietly by himself and even you know like he's got his phone that he looks at Facebook and all of that with but um there's not many people <laughs> online at, you know three four in the morning unless they're arty people like us <laughs> I know a lot of us have odd hours of sleeping and arting. I, um, up until very recently, used to be a lot like that. I would sometimes stay up until three and four in the morning because I'd be working on something and I just didn't want to stop. But of course that would wreck me the next day and I already um, have tiredness problems so it was making my health suffer more than usual so I've had to kick my body clock back into the right working order so I'm now um, <coughs> making sure I pack up by midnight and don't um, go any longer than that and then I'm able to get up at 7 in the morning and it's good because then I have more daylight to do things. And it's, um, it's working out so far. I think I've been doing that for about two weeks now. And already I'm waking up automatically without needing an alarm at 7am. So that's good. That's very, very loose. Don't play with it too much, it'll fall off. <coughs> Sweet little birdies. Sounds like sparrows out there at the moment, all twittering away together. 
Facebook friend of mine lives in Canada and she also loves birds and she posts some um, photos of the most beautiful birds she gets there, different types of woodpeckers, um, hummingbirds and a lot of birds I've I can't even remember their names, I'd never heard of, of course, because we don't get them here. Really beautiful, big birds. I love seeing when she posts pictures of um, birds at her feeders and what she tells me about them. It's really nice to see birds from different countries. <coughs> Something shiny there on the corner. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Hmm. It's going to take ages. If I stop talking, I might speed through some of this. Just keep one, the bits that I'm actually talking because. Otherwise this is going to take too long. that clock. Do that with the bronze. And I'll do a mixture in here. I think I was speaking the other day about a volunteer that's going to come and visit me once a week. I heard from her today. She phoned me for the first time and we had a little chat. And she sounds very nice. She's um, very interested in gardening, which is nice. Um, but she isn't into crafts, she said. <laughs> um, she said, no, that's not for me. Oh, I wouldn't have the patience for all of that. <laughs> and I immediately thought, wow, we're the opposite in that direction. <laughs> but that's okay. We can talk about the garden and enjoy that side of it. And she loves dogs, which is excellent. She said she's not a cat person. Um... I love both dogs and cats, but I suppose I prefer dogs, only because they have more of a personality, or, or not really, because you no, know, cats have personalities too, but I think dogs are more interactive, put it that way. Cats don't interact with you as much, or well, generally speaking they don't anyway. <clears throat> mm. So yeah, it'd be nice to meet her, have a little bit of a companion for a couple of hours each week and we can go walking together, which she said she's more than happy to do, she enjoys walking. So. And I told her, oh, I'm very slow. She said, that's okay, I can do slow. <laughs> so I thought, oh, that's really good. Sounds like she's going to be a good match for me. And I'm very grateful for that, to have the 
visitors that I have had in the past and um, those that I have or will have soon. If I put more on there, looks good with the copper over the black. I might actually do more on this one. Oops, that's a lot more. without peeling off the plates. Oh yeah, that's good. I want it to look a bit like it's old and worn. If I can possibly do that. less. <laughs> if I put too much on it's hard to get off. sneezing. Excuse that. <laughs> Let's see how much the sound travels. Thin walls. It's not too glary. <coughs> oh, don't scratch. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's hard to resist. Alright, come back to that after if I want to add more. when you put a light sort of dusting of this it brings up the pattern underneath like there's a pattern on this key I should bring that out 
Yeah, it looks good. Pretty. But I don't want it too shiny. Kids out there, I can tell which uh, birds are which by their sound. As you do get used to hearing them every day and seeing them, you get to know what they sound like. That's why I find it fun, so fascinating if a, a different bird that's not normally around in this neighbourhood comes past and starts singing and my husband gets intrigued by it as well to find out what sort of bird it is. darker and stand out a bit more. I'm not going to choose where to put this. Ooh. It's good though. I like it. Turquoise and that as well. Make a mistake, fix it with turquoise or teal, whatever you call it. He's got a pattern in it. Let's see if I can bring it up with this metallic paint. Yeah, it shows up a bit now. Make it into a an old bronze key. Kind of. So that's it. You can hear that neighbour's dog again. You can hear that in nearly every video that I do late afternoon. He starts barking. It makes me wonder whether he knows that his owners are coming home soon and he's waiting for them and <laughs> standing at the gate telling him to hurry up.
one in the distance archery. That needs a bit of turquoise on it. And that does. Yeah, you can see where I want to put things as I go along. bronze wasn't I yeah the um, the camera switched off before and so I was feeling tired anyway so I took advantage and had a good rest <clears throat> and now it's coffee time after waking up again and the birdies are still singing now I was thinking I might because these are a little bit sort of too stark I might put some black on there and rub it off straight away <coughs> so that it fills in the especially with this one so that it fills in the gaps and then I can just have bits of the shine coming through so that's what I'm thinking at the moment <coughs> um, go here with this We get the paper towel. <clears throat> yeah, it dried a bit too quickly for me to get much off. <clears throat> oh, it's not too bad. Bits of black coming through. I want it to be. Stop scratching. Oh, can you see there? I want it to be sort of oldish look, like I keep saying. Maybe stop saying that. <laughs> I was just watching Wendy Mason. She made the most adorable little bird for her grandson. After her grandson found some twigs and thought they looked like bird feet. Just so cute. Did a really good job, Wendy. I really enjoyed watching you make it. <clears throat> Alright. Which one? Maybe this one. I'm thinking also I might stick some more things on here because it looks a bit sort of bare compared to the other side yeah <clears throat> anyway I'll do this and then I'll get a few more bits and pieces and see what I can do Bronze works well for that sort of effect.
there's a bit too much bronze now. I'll go back in with some more copper after. Um, 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 um. Alright, let's pause that for a while and stick a few more things on if I've got anything spare. Where's my glue gun hiding? Come back, Mr. Glue Gun. taking forever. I've been at this for quite a few hours now. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. Hmm. Yep, so what have I got? I've got a nail, which is quite big. I've got some of these little clippy things. <coughs> Where did I see? I had a screw. Or did I use that? This is how bad my memory is. Did I use that screw? I remember I was thinking of putting the screw on the inside, but now I can't see one, so I guess I didn't. <coughs> ah, I did. I put it over here. <laughs> ah, memory, memory. I've got a broken nail. It's a bit smaller. That would work. And one of these, and a bit of wire, and I still haven't put chain on, so I can put some chain, and I was thinking I actually might keep these bigger pieces for, for, <laughs> for hanging stuff off here. So I'll put those aside with those padlocks <clears throat> and I will use the smaller pieces of chain to put in amongst all of these. <coughs> Not stupid throat. Stop scratching. Goodness me. Alright, so I want that and that. I would like another screw of some sort. I don't think I have any. Not in here anyway. I'll just have a quick rummage through. A drawer where I've got some bits and pieces. Okay, I've got my bits and my glue gun's hot, so I'm going to start just sticking them on. I've gessoed some, but others I still need to do. But I just wanted to add a few extra bits. Stick to there, not my thumb. <laughs> Um, oh, that's right. That's a key there. <laughs> it's hiding under the gesso. <coughs> Uh, thumbnail of mine's about to break so it's a shame because I find it very useful it's split right across to there so I might have to cut it off soon before it rips off like 
sometimes happens. Uh, that didn't work. I think it got too cold too quick. Uh, it's pretty warm now because it's had the hot glue on it. Alright, let's try that again. that same lump of glue I think. Is it going to work? No. Alright. I can hear crickets singing outside now. It's gotten dark out there. Next, I had, oh yeah, just move that. <coughs> Oops, that stuck to the paper. <laughs> Where was I going to put that? Up there, I think. So I've added a fair bit new things. I already put some gesso on. <laughs> I've got this bunny thing, but I want this on there first. I'll try and Sometimes the um, deep rumbling sound of those cars hurts my head. For some reason, I can't um, I can't take some really deep, low rumbling sounds. They really make my head hurt. Sometimes a car will park out the front of our place and they'll have the engine running, particularly in the winter when they've got their heaters on. And the sound just goes right through my head and I have to try and get away from it because it just hurts so much. And that's um, been happening ever since I had my first episode with my brain condition. So it's pretty sure to be related to that. Um, try this piece. Make sure that doesn't stick out the bottom so the thing won't stand up. <clears throat> I still have to paint that and I wanted this shiny bit of that metal not too sure where though make sure I've still got you on the screen <laughs> didn't check that want that in there. And if I put it there it's going to cover that up and I like that. Maybe I'll stick it up on top of there. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work like that.
if metal sticks to plastic with hot glue it'll work sometimes it doesn't sometimes it doesn't like it at all a um, bit of chain which I sort of put gesso on but um, I probably shouldn't have done that because it's made it go funny and stiff here and there to hold it on. I hope my head's, my head's probably making a big shadow isn't it? And you can't see. I hope that's not the case. Hopefully moving has made that better. I'm going to sit down. Get my fat wolf head out of the way. Is that better? Hope it is. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm getting stuck to everything with the glue. Um, no, I'll put it here. So I can. Oops. Put that there. Glue strings come off. Is that enough? Am I satisfied? Yeah, I think that's better. As I said that, the camera went click, <laughs> turned off. All right, a bit of gesso on those. I did do that um, black gesso on these pieces here. And then wiped it off again. It looks much better, I think. It's not as bright and shiny, but you can still see them. So I'm happy with that. I'll just do this and get back to it soon.
come off there. Put more on that one. Right. And quick dry. jump. Oops, can I reach this? There's a bit of a gap down there. It's obviously blown it so it flew off the desk. <laughs> oh, so funny, you should have seen me jump. Alright. Son's trying to get to sleep now. Yep, that all feels dry, looks dry. Goody goody. Now, back to metallics and turquoise. I've forgotten now where I said I wanted to put more turquoise. I think that might have been. Yeah, it was. That was on this side, wasn't it? 
Oh, I don't know. Ah, stop scratching. <laughs> Let's finish my coffee. Alright, I can see in the center of this I should have put um, some black of some sort. I might try. I'll put some copper in there since it's a copper look anyway. Hopefully it'll go with that. wipe too much off them. Expose the middle. So I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> 